Hi, this next video goes over the key of C, and the key of C is the, is the blueprint key for all other keys. And remember, just like uh, the master key to a building opens all the doors in the building, the key of C will do the same for all other keys. It contains the ingredients or the rules that are universal for music, that is, European music. Uh, there are many different types of scales around the world. If you're interested in those types of scales, um, please check out our exotic section um, or our uh, musical oddity section as we call it uh, general strangeness going on in there but very interesting nevertheless which you can help to integrate that into your playing um, you know uh, there's there's a couple scales in there that sound oriental and I, I thought that those were just great to go over the blues uh, and uh, you can just you can you can integrate those stuff but the but you are probably at the beginner stages right now. That might be something you might be interested in. There's also discussions in there and interviews and all kinds of different stuff with, with other people. And uh, if, if there's not any, in, any interviews in there now, there will be very soon. A lot of these uh, places on the site are still under construction. This is a work in progress. And just like all the other videos on the site, there, there will be more added uh, every week uh, forever. And uh, your fee uh, for the subscription will never, ever increase. Okay, so key of C, um, the key of C is the master key, so it's all the white keys on the piano, so it's really easy to map out the key of C. It's C, D, E, F, G, A, B. That was really easy. Musical alphabet ends at G, and it just starts over again. So when it starts over, it just keeps going, all the way up and all the way down. Well, all the way up until you can't hear it anymore. A piano keyboard has 88 keys on it, and that's the range of human hearing. Any higher, and you're playing for dogs and stuff. So, so here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, and start with the uh, the C chord. So, as you know, C is down here. You've got your index finger and the second string in on the first fret, and then the rest is the rest is history. All right. must have been turned down or something. Okay, and then G7. And G7, if you look at G7, it's just kind of like a giant C. You just throw everything out to the side. So you take what you did inside here and you move these two out and then you move this one out to this side. So I always call it the giant C. And remember, seven chords have kind of that twangy, blues, backwoods type of sound to them. And... Um, just an FYI, you can you can exchange or you can switch out any seven chord for any major chord if you want to do it. Um, so say for instance if you're playing C and you want to spice it up a little bit, do the C7 version. See how that's a little, it's a little more rock. And without it, it's sort of just a straight square, you know, chord. Sort of generic. Nothing wrong with generic. There's a time and a place for everything. Okay, so we did G7 and then F. F is the dreaded chord. Nobody likes this chord, and the reason why, and I figured it out in my 15 years of teaching, I finally figured it out. This here, we have to hold the, these two down with this finger. And some people just don't like this, and I know I didn't like it when I first started. I used to love the chord like the play. And this finger here, the, the middle finger's here, and then you've got your two others over here. So this is the F that I recommend. Some people like the little partial F, okay, where you're just staying on top of the four, the four highest strings over here, and then you avoid the two lowest ones. I go ahead and go for all five because one more string and you might as well just be barred it all the way across. So we're just going to do it like this. And this also provides you a good way to switch from C to F, C, F. So let's go ahead and just try and switch from C to F without playing first. So C, and your index finger stays in the same fret, right, for F, and then back to C, and remember it stays back here, and then F, and here again, and then back to F again. So there you go. Pretty easy stuff. It's not incredibly easy, but it's it can be easy. If you take the time out to practice, I'd say 20 or 30 minutes a day, you can, you can get this stuff. 
And just in case you're wondering, there is a, a PDF download over here to the right side of this video in the video description. It's a link, and if you click on that link, you can download a zip file that has four MP3 files, each played at a different beats per minute. 40 beats a minute, 70, 100, and then 130, and 130 is hauling. So, but 40 is like really super slow, and you should, most people should be able to do that. But at least it gives you a tiered way to play up, as well as provides you with a little background, because there's nothing like sitting in a room all by yourself playing to nobody. Uh, so it, it gives you the, uh, you know, gives you the feeling you're playing along with another guitar. That guitar is, uh, is tuned up now, so you have to make sure that you use our tuning video to make sure you're tuned up to those to those mp3s or else you know it's, it's not going to sound good it's going to sound like the third grade orchestra okay Sorry, captain but i can't do that so let's go ahead and get started looks like we're going to do c four times then f four times then c four times then g four times and then we're going to do c again f again and then we're going to do the flip remember the flip we just take the last two chords the second time around and flip them around and then we've got g7 and then c Okay, instead of C and then G7. It's a little music songwriting trick going on there. Very peripheral, very very ornamental type of thing going on there. If you want to get into the big stuff, look at our songwriting section. It'll show you how to write a song in like 30 seconds. Okay, and we're talking good songs. Um, most of the really good songs, you know, are like three chords, you know, anyway. So why do we need to spend time on all this comp com complex stuff anyway? Actually, we do. Uh, it's just I don't want to make a big deal out of it because you're just you're just starting out. So anyway, let's get started. And I know I keep saying that, and we never do, because I'm I'm just I'm just a big talker. All right, here we go. So let's play this sort of at a mediocre uh, at a mediocre pace. One, two, three, four. Congratulations. If you just got done with that, you, uh, you just progressed to the next level. So give yourself a pat on the back. Don't forget to download the, uh, the link that's in the, this video description. Uh, it contains four files. Each one's played in a different, at a different uh, tempo. And uh, so that will help you to uh, start on the bottom uh, speed and, and, and go up to the top speed. And 130 is by no means the top speed, but for a beginner, it is very, very fast. So if you get up to about 100, you're already doing pretty good. So if you want to push it, that extra, that extra amount, go for 130 and see if you can knock it out. Anyway, this is the key of C. Um, and uh, my name is Stu Johnson, Second Floor Studios. And I wish everybody the best, including you who are watching right now. Um, I care about you and I want, I want you to learn how to play an excellent guitar. So tell us what you think, uh, drop me a line, and, uh, and we'll see you at lessons. Take care.